Hello everyone. We'll soon complete our game. So now let's talk about adding game sounds. We select the sounds and download them. We configure the sounds in Unity using the audio source component and link them to the effects. Why do games need sounds at all? In the real world, sounds always accompany our actions and events. It's the same in the game. For the user to feel that they influence the game, their actions must be accompanied by sounds and effects. You can think about sound as a tool that helps the user understand the game's situation. For example, if the user has collected a coin and hears a sound, they instantly realize that the coin has been collected and they can run to the next one. Let's add some sounds to our game. The sound of a coin being collected, the sound that's played when the character grows, when they run through a gate, and for example, the sound of a wall breaking. You can add more sounds to the game in the same way. First of all, you need to download the sounds somewhere. You can take them from anywhere on the internet, but I recommend freezoundy.org. It's a good free site. It's a sound library that's well suited for our tasks. It has a search function. For example, let's find the sound of a coin. Coin. You can sort sounds by relevance or by duration. It's useful to have short sounds displayed at the beginning, because obviously we don't need a sound that's a minute or even five seconds long. We need it to be about a second long. So we can display short sounds at the beginning, but there may also be sounds that are too short. This is a good one. Let's download it. Click the sound. You need to register here to download sounds, but they're all free. After you register, enter your login and password. The download button will appear here, and that's it. You've downloaded a sound. Let's get everything we need right now. You need imagination and creativity to think of a sound that should play when our character develops, right? What sound from the real world would be suitable here? I think it's like the character is blowing up, inflating. So let's search for a pump sound. We'll select short first, again, so that we get short sounds. In my opinion, this one's quite good, but you can choose anything you like. We also need the sound of a wall collapsing. Let's type break. I recommend trying different options. First, go to the short sounds or the ones that are downloaded the most. Let's check out the sounds that are downloaded the most often. This one, for example. It's a good idea to make sure that there's no echo, so it doesn't sound like it was recorded in a room. Players can hear things like that. Download this one too. And now let's add all the downloaded sounds to the project. Let's create a new folder for them and call it Sounds. Drag everything here. They have long, difficult names. You can rename them for the sake of convenience. That's it. Now, how do you use these sounds in the project? You need the audio source component. Add a new object. Audio, audio source. Basically, it's the main component for playing sound. Put the sound in this field, and it will play automatically. Let's listen. If the play on awake Option is selected, this sound will be reproduced immediately when the player collects a coin. By the way, here's how to test it. If I click, play, and activate it, it will be played the moment the coin is collected. You can also select the loop option to play the sound on repeat. This time, we only need the sound once, but if you have some music or background nature sounds, they should be looped. 
We can also adjust the sound volume and pitch. Higher pitch means that the sound is crisper, perhaps squeakier, and faster. If you lower the pitch, the sound will be played more slowly. This way, it'll feel like a lower tone. Play with the settings and see what you like best. This parameter really helps to find interesting sounds for things like coins and different abstract objects. Right now, a very simple and convenient way to use sounds is to link them to effects. Here we have the effect of collecting a coin. We can put an object inside it and attach a sound. I'm clicking. Create. Empty. I'll call the object sound. You can add a component, but there's another quick and easy way to add sounds by just dragging the sound here. The audio source component is added automatically. The play on awake option must be on. We can do the same with the collapsing wall effect. Just add a new object here. Call it something. Obviously, it's best to call it sound. Drag the sound here, and you're good. But the pump sound that's played when the character grows is a slightly different story. First, we need to put this sound on the player. Of course, you can put it right here, but there are so many components that it's easy to get confused. So I'll create a new empty object here. Let's call it pump sound and drag this effect onto it. I'll deselect play on wake here. It shouldn't be played immediately when the player appears. It needs a script. We'll call a special method. So our character grows in the player modifier script. Here you see the add width and add height methods. So let's add a link to the audio source sound here. And let's call it something like increase sound. That is the sound of growing. And we'll play it here. Add width can make the character bigger or smaller, depending on whether this value is positive or negative. Let's play this sound only if the character grows bigger. That is, if the value is greater than zero, we take the sound and simply call the play method. That's it. It's exactly the same with height. Let's save it and see how it works. Launching. The coins are being collected. Oh, I forgot to assign audio source to this field, of course, so I'll drag it here. Because this is a prefab, let's apply the changes to the prefab so that the player changes in all scenes. In my opinion, it's much more fun to play now, because you can immediately see the game response to your actions. The wall destruction also works great. By attaching sounds to the prefabs and calling the play method, you can add sounds to all game events. To practice, you can try to add the finish line sound yourself. Try to pick pleasant sounds, especially if they will be played often, and don't make the music too loud. Try playing your game and adjust the volume for every sound. 